Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is obviously in English, so if you're French and you can't speak English, there'll be subtitles for this video. So basically, I wanted to make this video in English because I realized that what I'm going to talk about can be relevant to a lot of people, not just French people. And in particular, if you're planning to come to Australia to stay for a while or just to visit, I think that that's something that could be interesting for you to know. So basically, I'm just going to give you a little bit of background. I am French, obviously, if you can't tell by the accent, and I've been living in Australia for over six years now. And I really wanted to talk to you about the situation with Aboriginal uh, in Australia today because yesterday was Australia Day, which is on the 26th of uh, January. And it really made me think that when I arrived in Australia, I knew nothing about the situation with Aboriginal today in Australia and I had a lot of uh, preconceived idea of what it was like and I was really ignorant. And through the six years that I've been here, I've really learned about it and I really want to share my experience. When I edited this video, I realized that it may come across differently than my initial intent, so I just wanted to specify a few things. So in this video, I'm sharing my experience about learning and understanding the situation with Australia's first people from a foreigner point of view. So it's possible that sometimes I give summaries of events which can seem inaccurate because they don't contain a lot of details or I voluntarily omitted some details. So if you want some more information about the topic and the situation, I really would encourage you to do your own the research so you'll be able to understand it better and make your own opinion. So the intent of this video is not to criticize the British or if it is it is exactly the same criticism that I would give to France because we've also colonized a lot of country and we've done terrible things. So I'm more criticizing colonization in general than a specific country and I also want to mention that I am not here to give lessons to Australia how to deal with this situation and I don't think we're better in France to deal with with a similar situation at the moment or we've been in the past so my intent is definitely not to give lessons I'm just sharing my opinion and I would have definitely a similar opinion on my own country. When I arrived in Australia I quickly realized that most Australian non-Aboriginal obviously had really little interest in Aboriginal culture so Obviously, it's people that I've met. I know there's people who have like a lot of interest and are really defending um, Aboriginal culture and Aboriginal rights. But the people around me at the time, you know, they just had not a lot of interest. And for me, that was kind of like strange because I really love art and I really love like new cultures and all of that. So that's something I was really into or really keen to learn about. And then I came across some people who had... Um, <laughs> kind of negative view of Aboriginal. So first I heard someone telling me how they were just drunk people and they were just abusing the system, getting a lot of money from the government and getting the anti-discrimination law while they were just lazy and doing nothing of their lives. So that's something you can hear a lot. I mean, you can hear some people say that in Australia. And also one of my acquaintances, someone I met in England, told me something that really kind of shocked me because um, I was talking about a movie that has Aboriginal actors in it, uh, which is called The Sapphires. It's a really good movie. You should watch it. And I was just telling her about it and asked her if she watched it. And she just said, oh, I don't watch movies with Aboriginal people. It's like if you were watching movies with Arab people. And I was like, okay, so this is what it's like. This was just in the first month or two that I was in Australia. So really quickly I realized that, that it was not really integrated in Australian culture and that there was like obviously uh, a lot of racism towards Aboriginal. And so basically that was not the situation I was expecting. In the next part of this video, I really want to share this with you because it does exist. So if you come to Australia, you will realize what I've realized when I arrived here. But also that I realized I was really ignorant about the history of Australia and how Aboriginal have been treated in the past and how they're still treated today. And I really want to share what I've learned because I think that 
when you come here as a tourist it can be really important for you to know all of that to kind of be respectful to aboriginal culture but also for me by ignorance i could be just being against my values and the thing i believe in just because there was something that i didn't know when i arrived in australia and this is why i really want to share this this with you so you can come here as a tourist and just make sure that you have the knowledge and you can respect aboriginal culture and align with your values the other next things i'm going to share it's the things that i've learned and that i know of and i know there's a lot more events that happen and there's a lot more things to know about the situation with aboriginal today in australia so the first thing that i want to tell you about australian history is that um, when the british came to australia uh, it was on the 26th of january which is today australia day and on this day they arrived on this country and there was already people here which were aboriginals and they just took the land so what you've got to know is that for aboriginal there's not um, the idea of owning the land they don't have this concept that we have as western about owning a land so basically they didn't um, try to fight the british because for them the land is not something that you own and so uh, what happened to them when um, the British came, um, it's not that there's been like battles or really a lot of confrontation, but British came with a lot of disease. So Australia is an island, so there were some diseases that were not there before the British came and they brought the disease and they also brought alcohol and alcohol and disease killed a lot of Aboriginal people. So basically that was the day that the British uh, invaded Australia and on this day it was basically um, you know an invasion for Aboriginal and it was on the 26th of January which is today still the celebration of Australia which is Australia Day so that is uh, a major issue today because the government could just change the date just ch choose another date that could really mean something different and that could be really about Australia as a nation including Aboriginal but to this day the government has kept the date that means invasion for Aboriginals Another thing that I know about is that there's a generation of Aboriginal which is called the Lost Generation and this is because the British, they were actually to, are trying to, um, I think it's called assimilation. So basically the British, um, they went to the Aboriginal tribe and they tried to stall the kids especially I think and when the kids had white blood so they like an aboriginal had kids with a white person because they saw that there was like some hope for them and they could like try to make them and educate them as white people so they put them like in like catholic education and all of that so they basically stole the kids from the tribes and they did this to a lot of kids uh, which means that some aboriginal never saw their parents again and it's called the lost generation so this is actually really, really sad. And there's a movie that talks about it, which is called The uh, Rabbit Fence. And I really recommend that you watch it. Uh, it's based on a true story. Another thing is that Aboriginal had to fight during the war as well. So Australia was part, I think, of like the British army. So they took Aboriginal and they uh, got them to fight for like the British army. But basically they didn't have the Australian citizenship or any like citizenship. So when they came back to Australia, Australia they were injured or like they had like some issues after fighting for the war they had no recognition and they had like no help after fighting for Australia and for uh, Great Britain. There's actually uh, artwork in Hyde Park in Sydney that is like symbolizing that. Okay so now <laughs> That's uh, kind of like a lot of bad things that happened in the past and then there's like more positive things that uh, the government tried to do. So obviously they made an Aboriginal um, citizen of Australia but it only happened in 1967. There's a lot of discrimination law and the government has done like a lot of initiative to really try to help Aboriginals. And there's also been apologies from the government about the lost generation. To the mothers and the fathers the brothers and the sisters, for the breaking up of families and communities, we say sorry.
but there still has been um, a lot of problems. There's been a lot of confrontation with the police and a lot of cases that we can be quite familiar with in France where people who have skin color can be treated differently by the police. There's a big event that happened on Palm Island and I've seen a video at the Museum of Contemporary Art about it. People are distressed. We are oppressor people. Please, we are oppressed people. That he was just showing all the events and basically in custody, an Aboriginal was killed and then there was a lot of riots and you could hear the police and what they talk about Aboriginal in such a very uh, violent way. And there's been a lot of very similar events. Uh, last year in Paris where Aboriginal, the police pushed them and they fell into a river and one of them died. I think it was about a year ago where in Northern Territory, so in the north of Australia, she had this date about 100% of the children in custody are uh, uh, and in like the center you know it's not a prison because they're under 18 but they're 100% aboriginal some video have been released where the children has been ab have been abused by the staff the suicide rate of uh, young aboriginal is like really high and it's higher to like the average rate in Australia and there's been a case like I recently a couple of months ago where there was this Aboriginal who Aboriginal person and they was trying to remove his citizenship from like Australia because his dad uh, fighting the war was Aboriginal then he went to Papua New Guinea and he came back to Australia but he didn't do the paper right so he was not actually getting the citizenship so he didn't give it to his son and his son was a criminal so they try to like send it back outside of Australia which is so wrong because it's actually from here so yeah there's so many so many cases and it happens all the time it's like all of these events happening where you can see that there's still tensions and that Aboriginal may not be treated unfairly and that there's quite a lot of racism that I was not expecting. And another thing that I want to talk to you about, so I think that now the Uluru you can't climb on the top. What you have to understand is that Aboriginal of them, there's a lot of places that are sacred and that are very like spiritual and important for them and Uluru is one of them and I know a lot of people still want to climb it but I went there and it was really high opening and it was really it really made me feel different to learn so much about the Aboriginal culture and to really understand why it's so important for them that you don't climb it and I know there's other similar places in Australia and I just do really feel like as a tourist we we should just be responsible and we should you know like respect this culture when you come to this country obviously you've got to respect australian law but i just feel it's really important that you think about aboriginal who've been here for a long time and we've been through all of this during australian history and still today like suffering of discrimination and racism I just wanted to share that I feel it's really important to respect this culture and respect their wishes and when they say you don't climb the Uluru, just, just don't climb it to respect them. So yeah, basically that's one of the things I, want I wanted to say. And the other thing I wanted to say is regarding Australia Day. So basically as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is the day that Australia was invited and that since this day Aboriginal culture has never been the same and Aboriginal rights never been the same and I think that when you come to Australia and you don't know all of that and then you just celebrate Australia Day I think that's important that you think about what you're actually celebrating and what it actually really means because it can be just really fun and be like oh yeah I celebrate Australia Day but what is it really all about if it's about just inviting another country and just thinking that what it means and symbolize for Aboriginal people today I think that if you want to respect this culture and just align with your value, if you've got similar values to me, I just don't celebrate Australia Day. But if I didn't know about the situation with Aboriginal today in Australia, if I didn't know that was the day that Australia was invited, I would have maybe celebrate it. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say about the situation with Aboriginal in Australia. Just wanted to open your eyes if you don't know all of this and you come to Australia and I wanted to invite you to think a lot more about what you do uh, when you travel and when you go to places which are very important for Aboriginal and if you're planning to celebrate Australia Day, what it really means. 
and I hope you enjoyed this video. Most of the videos on my channel are in French, but if I found that a topic is relevant to most in French people, I would uh, I create video in English. So if you're interested in this kind of video, you can subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!